Hello and welcome to another video with me, Elmo J. Karilainen, and it's good to have you along. You can call me this guy if my name is tricky to pronounce. Some people seem to think it is. Today I'm taking a look at the vintage V6 Strat. Now, I've been told that these are really good and I've been wanting to check one out for quite some time now uh, and I finally decided to do so. I'm gonna check out specs, looks and playability and all that and also how it stays in tune when you give it the old whammy bar test. It comes with an American alder body Wilkinson WVC vibrato bolt-on neck which is hard maple scale length 25.5 inches the fingerboard is lignum rosa whatever that is i don't know uh, radius 12 inches 22 frets uh, graphite nut which is nice it has three wilkinson wvs single coil pickups and your regular tones and volume controls the machine heads are wilkinson wj55 easy locks I like the finish of this, it looks nice. Taking a look at the guitar, it looks like a Strat. Nothing looks cheap, in my opinion. Um, actually, it looks really nice. The neck joint looks nice, the grain on the wood, nothing special, but quite good. The tuners look good. Everything looks good, including the tremolo block on the back, it's not that cheap kind of rubbish thing that you get on really budget guitars. Then again, it costs 412 euros, so it's not cheap as such, um, but it's definitely not terribly expensive either. It's borderline budget friendly. I had to do a bit of setup. The string action was a bit high. I had to uh, file the fret edges a bit because there was a bit of fret sprout, nothing major, but nothing major i had I didn't have to uh, adjust the neck it was fine yeah to know let's let's try it and see how it feels and plays and all that what else do i have going here i have my marshall plexi which isn't entirely clean here's my clean signal i have an overdrive pedal the strymon riverside which i'll be using at some point and i also have some delay in the loop i'm using a marshall cab and that's about it so let's see that everything works, uh, starting from the bridge pickup. And how this is wired, because uh, let's see, tone is sometimes not wired to the bridge pickup. Very nice, it is wired there, I like it that way, some people don't, but that means you can do some more Jeff Becky type stuff. So let's try some clean sounds and some slightly more overdriven sounds and then some more overdriven sounds. Let's tune it first. Thank you. 
know if you heard that little plinging sound that sounded a bit like a bit like that when I bent this note um, that means that the string was stuck uh, in the bridge and uh, yes yeah, so probably gonna be some tuning issues a bit of a spoiler uh, I was playing this a bit while I set it up and it did have quite a few tuning issues but maybe those have been solved now that I've played it a bit because yeah sometimes that stuff just takes a while to Things take a while to settle sometimes. Uh, yeah, let's keep on going. The output dropped there for a second. Don't know what happened. Thank you. 
So it's a bit bright. Uh, regular single coils with my setup sometimes are. I'll try the slightly more overdriven stuff with another overdrive I have here. I have the Rosen, sorry, Roden. I have the Rodenberg Steve Lukather overdrive. I'll use that instead. It's a bit darker. I don't have a noise gate for that. The Strymon that I have has, an, has a built in one, so there's a bit of noise. <laughs> thoughts but I'm not gonna reveal them until I've done the whammy wire test which uh, yeah I'm not expecting it to stay in tune but this is how it's in tune now <laughs> nearly there so let's just engage bright overdrive Strymon Riverside and see how it stays in tune <laughs>
Entirely stay in tune now, did it? <laughs> uh, it's a regular strat style bridge, so I'm not expecting it to stay 100% in tune. Uh, this was a bit worse than a lot of the guitars I've tried on the channel, but then again, lubing the nuts will uh, at least help the situation. It might even make it uh, so that it stays in tune very well. Now, with that kind of abuse, a strat style bridge, I don't think it will stay in tune. Not a hundred percent. It's not a Floyd Rose. But other than that, how does it feel? It feels... I, f I think it feels great. I mean, for the price, it feels brilliant. It feels like a Strat, w which costs more. Uh, the pickups sound good. Everything about this, I think, is good. Apart from the fact that it doesn't stay in tune when you abuse the whammy bar. But I'm not expecting that. Now, no one's paying me to say any of this stuff. I bought this guitar so I can say whatever I want. And if you're on in the market for something like this and you're on a limited budget, this is definitely something to check out. There are other options out there. Squire Classic Vibe comes to mind. Well, I'm not entirely sure. This might actually be... Whichever way you go. Try before you buy. If you buy online, be sure you can send it back if you don't like it. Because guitars are individuals and they will, some of them will have issues. Even really high-end guitars will sometimes have issues. So, uh, this is a very good guitar for the price. I mean, everything about this just looks nice. Uh, but again, it's, it's a guitar, so you might get one that's not great. You might get one that's not better than this. Uh, sorry, that is better than this. Forgot to say it's made in Vietnam. But yeah, very nice. Apart from not staying in tune. <laughs> okay, so while I was editing this, I th thought I'd try lubing the nuts and see if it stays in tune. And well, it turns out it didn't. Which is a big bummer, and an even bigger bummer. And this is the reason why you should always try before you buy. Or if you buy online, make sure that you can send the stuff back if, uh, f for whatever reason. Uh, because I, I did my usual bag of tricks to try to get it to stay in tune. That didn't help. And uh, then I looked up stuff on the internet. And uh, yeah, decided to try a couple of things, change strings. But when I was tuning it up, this happened. So that tuner is dodgy. So this is no good. You could, of course, if you wanted to, you could just keep the guitar if you bought this and uh, change the tuners. Personally, I wouldn't. I'm just sending this back. And it's a real shame. So this changes the conclusion a bit. Because it didn't stay in tune. And now I have no way of seeing if my little tricks would work. Um, it might be that you need to replace the whole nut. I don't know. Providing that the tuners actually did their job properly. But the conclusion... It's kind of this. I can only review what I have here. So I'm not going to guess about anything else. The good things about this guitar are many. It feels good, it sounds good, the parts seem good. But there's a faulty tuning peg or tuning machine and it wouldn't stay in tune. So 
Based on purely this, I couldn't recommend this guitar. That being said, if you buy one of these, you probably not have this issue, but you might have that tuning issue, and I can't say anything about that. So, I'd be a bit cautious. If you want to watch more of my guitar reviews, there's a playlist here, there's also a playlist with my music, please check that out. Please check out my Patreon, you get access to my lessons, all my music and exclusives. You can take that stuff for free, you can treat it as a trial, there's a link in the description. Uh, I hope you liked the video, click like if you did, comment, let me know what you thought, if you have any experience with Wilkinson's, I mean, uh, sorry Wilkinson's, vintage uh, guitars. Like I said, I've heard positive things about them and you can defend them in the comments. Uh, that will be, or if you have bad experiences, share those as well. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that bell notification thing. And above all, I hope you have a nice day. Take care. See you. Bye.